My name is Girish Mohir. I represent CMG Cisco. It's an affiliate entity of CMG Regional Centers. Uh, before we begin, just a show of hands as to how many of you have at least heard about EB5 visa in the past. Alright, okay. So I'm going to start with the basics, not deep dive into it, but at least the basics of what EB5 is. Today I'm going to talk about CMB Regional Centers and our latest offering group 88. But to start with EB5, EB5 is actually an investment based visa wherein if you invest in a qualifying business, the main applicants house and the children below 21 are able to get a permanent residency in the US, which is the green card. So what does that mean? It means that if you invest in a specific project, if you invest in a specific business, the requirement is that if you are able to create certain number of jobs, that is 10 full-time jobs in the US, the main applicant spouse and children below 21 will get a green card. Now how does that help and what are ways to do it? First is there is a direct route for EB5 and second is the regional center route. So let's just talk about the direct route in brief. The direct route essentially means that the main applicant or the investor is going to start their own business and they are going to be responsible for submit the business plan, they are going to be responsible for doing all the things which are required to qualify for EB5 themselves with the help of immigration attorney. And with regional centers, what happens is regional center is an entity designated by USCIS. So USCIS basically is United States uh, um, Citizenship Services and they help with adjudicating the cases and they prepare the rules which are required for EB5 visa. So what happens over here is that regional center is going to designate themselves as a regional center which will allow them to procure projects for the investors. So they are going to conduct due diligence on different projects so as to enable the investors who are interested to invest in EB5 by investing a minimum amount of 800,000 US dollars in order for them to qualify for a green card. So what CMB regional centers basically do is we procure projects and we open them up for investors so that they are able to qualify for a green card. To talk more about CMB regional centers, CMB regional centers is one of the oldest and largest active regional centers in EB5 business. We were first designated as a regional center back in 1997. So in all these 25 years, CMB has worked with 6,000 plus investors in the last 25 years. And Mr. Patrick F. Hogan, he is the founder and CEO of CMB Regional Centers and his daughter, Ms. Noreen Hogan, is the president. So if you see the numbers over here, in the last 25 years, as I mentioned, we have worked on uh, worked with 6,000 plus investors, out of which 5,100 plus investors were successfully able to get their initial approval. Around 2,100 investors were able to get their I-81 and approval. Now these are all technical terms. You don't necessarily have to remember them and we have a long day to discuss and we are going to have panel discussions as well. So all these small concepts will be clear to you. And we were able to return the capital to 2,300 plus investors. So if you just look at the sheer numbers, you will see that these are quite impressive numbers in terms of the experience that we have. Now we were designated as a regional center first in 1997 and then we have grown to having multiple regional centers which allows us to operate in 20 different states within US. So you will see over here that most of the initial projects that we have worked on is in the western part. So CMB actually stands for California Military Base or Close Military Base. So initial projects that CMB undertook with EB-5 visa were with those areas which previously were military bases, World War II era military bases and there was some construction activity happening over there and EB-5 was required, EB-5 funds were required in those areas. So that's how CMB came into being. So you will see over here that we have worked in with many states we have worked with different investment um, criteria. So if we have projects with 500,000 investors. We have uh, uh, investments with 800,000 worth of investments. Currently, the investment amount stands at 800,000. So that's the minimum investment amount. Now, this is something which is very important to know as to what the priority for each EB-5 investor is or should be. 
is not a traditional investment. Although it's called as an investment based visa, we need to understand that this is not a traditional investment. So the return on, on investment component comes at the last. The first and foremost priority for any DB5 investor is to get the green card. Second is to get the return of your investment. So the initial 800,000 which you are putting in, the priority should be to get those funds back. And if at all, there is a return on investment, that is the third and the last priority. Now let me just explain as to how the structuring for EB5 visa works. And this is something which Mr. Patrick Morgan was one of the pioneers to come up with. It's a loan model. So what happens in this particular model is that the investor, which is the left side over here, becomes a limited partner. So once you invest into a project, you can actually invest into a limited partnership. So Group 88, which I'm going to talk more about in a bit, forms the CMB limited partnership. So each investor will be investing in this CMB limited partnership. Now this limited partnership is in the business of lending funds to the borrower or the developer. So CMB becomes the general partner over here and this group is going to lend funds to the borrower for a specific period of time. So for CMB it is six years, no term. Once the construction activity happens, the lender is going to lend the funds and the borrower is going to provide the funds back into the partnership. Now that is attached to your immigration person. So we need to understand that your investment component is going to go hand in hand with your immigration aspect of things. So you are going to work with your immigration attorney, they are going to file your petitions and at a certain point in time, while you file for your I-829 petition, that is where you are able to apply for a green card and ask for removal of conditions. So this is the loan program that we are talking about. Now this is a very important slide. Uh, basically, there are other regional centers in this business as well and you will also find regional centers who are very small. So it's a designation at the end of the day. So if you qualify for certain requirements which USCIS is going to present to you, any company can become a regional center with the help of those particular qualifying requirements. But what differentiates good regional centers and smaller regional centers is the kind of team that they have. So we have around 50 plus staff members based in the US office and I'm not even including myself. Then we have other local representatives such as myself in different locations. And we have different departments. So we have project development department, we have compliance department, we have legal department. So at any given point in time, investor will have someone to talk to if they have any queries. Now these are some of the numbers that I was mentioning that in the last 25 years we have worked on 80 plus projects and out of those 80 plus projects we have received approvals on 73 projects. For I-29 approvals we have 49 mentioned over here but we actually got to know that we have one more project which recently received I-29 approval, its first I-29 approval. So the total number of I-29 approvals project wise is now 15. And the return of capital is 51. So out of all those projects that we have worked on, we were able to successfully return the capital on 51 of those partnerships. Uh, all our CMB partnerships are audited annually and quarterly as well. Now this is actually a part of the new law. It is a requirement that each regional center has to go through the quarterly audits and annual audits. But this is something which CMB has been doing since 2014 for the partnerships starting 2005, 6 so onwards. So this particular requirement, CMB has been conducting audits even prior to it became, becoming the requirement as well. Now we just spoke about CMB regional centers. But what is the priority for any investor? First is the regional center and their track record. The second is the developer who the regional center is working with. So now I'm going to speak a little bit about Input Development Company which is the current developer in this Group 88 project. So we would, the development company actually is the construction arm of the Perro family. So to talk more about Perro family, uh, this company was founded by Ross Perro Jr. who is son of the Ross Perro Sr. And just an uh, interesting fact, Ross Perro Sr. actually ran for president selection back in the 90s a couple of times. He didn't win, uh, he was an independent candidate. But that is the pedigree of this particular family that they have multiple businesses 
Haywood Development Company takes care of their construction arm and they have been doing it since 1988. So they are present in 29 states within the US. They have multiple offices in the US and they are also present in five different countries in the Europe as well. These are some of the statistics as to their development activities within the US. Now we just spoke about the statistics which are for CME on the whole, but these particular statistics in this particular slide is just specific to projects wherein Haywood is the developer or the borrower and CMP is the regional center. And you will definitely find that these are some of the numbers where other regional centers don't even have total projects. 36 projects under the PD, but we have 36 projects just with Hillwood. So CMP partnership with Hillwood, there are 36 partnerships, out of which 23 loans have been repaid. So the strike rate of Hillwood, repaying the loan back to the CMP partnership is quite impressive. 28 partnerships wherein investors were successfully able to get I-5 to 6 approvals and 16 partnerships wherein investors have received their final I-829 approval which is the final permanent green card approval. So out of all those 6,000 investors that we have worked with in 25 years, around 1,800 plus investors were in CMB and Hillwood partnership. Out of those 1,800 plus investors, 1,200 have received their I-526 approvals, 300 have received their I-829 approvals, and 600 have received return of capital. So you will see that the number of investors who have actually received their permanent green card is lesser than the investors who have actually been able to have the return of capital. So that shows that whatever the structuring is for CMB partnerships, it's made in such a manner that the investors who have received their final green card, even before that, investors were able to receive the capital back as well. So let's talk about CMB Group 88. And I'm not going to deep dive much into this because we have a booth over here. I will be available to answer all the questions that you may have for any Group 88. But I'm just going to give you a gist of what Group 88 is. So this is the recent offering that we have for our EP5 investors. Uh, we are going to raise around 24 million US dollars, so that will be around 30 available units for EP5 investors. And this is Group 88 Hillwood Detroit Fairgrounds. So this particular partnership is constructing two warehouses for industrial logistics facilities in Detroit, Michigan uh, Fairgrounds. And this is going to be in a high unemployment targeted environment area. So this is part of the 10% set-aside which is available for the new investors which will be investing now. The construction activity for uh, this particular logistics facility has started in 2022 and it will be complete in quarter 3 of 2024. So it's a two years of construction period. One of the parcels is actually complete. So one of the speculative buildings which is being constructed is already complete and all the required jobs for 30 investors. So 30 into 10 is 300 jobs which are required in order for the investors to get qualified. So all those jobs are already created. And the second parcel, which is the build to suit, where a target corporation is going to take over the uh, facility as uh, for the rent, they, that particular facility will be constructed now. The construction has already begun and it will be complete by the next year. So the total cost for this project is around 65 million US dollars, out of which 24 million is the EB5 loan, and developers' own equity is 6 million, and senior construction loan stands at 35 million. Now the next question which you might ask is what is the skill in the game for the developer? Because the developer's equity stands less than 10 percent. So let me tell you that this pie chart will happen at the end of subscription process. So as we speak today. The developer has actually put in 37 plus 9 percent and that is how the construction activity has already begun. Once the EB5 investors will start subscribing, the developer's equity will go down and the EB5 loan is going to bridge the developer's equity. So as I mentioned, the required jobs for this particular project is 300 jobs. So each investor will get 10 jobs. However, as a matter of fact, in this particular project, 
645 jobs are projected to be created. So there is a job of 150 persons. So each investor, instead of having 10 jobs, they will be getting 21.5 jobs per investor. Now, if you see over here, these are some of the projections, and I'm not sure whether you are able to read it or not. But the second slide, second line says net sales proceeds. So two parcels of land, the total sales amount is going to be around 81 million. So first the senior letter will be repaid, then EB5 loan will be repaid, and then whatever the profits are will be repaid by the developer. Now these are some of the collaterals which are available into the partnership. Now again, we need to understand that EB5 is an at-risk investment, meaning that the investor, for the investor, it is an at-risk investment, there is no guarantee as such. But the way these projects are structured, the partnership, wherein the investor is going to initially put in the funds, can have collaterals against you. So some of the collaterals are mentioned over here. First is cash flow amount. So whatever cash flow is generated by the developer, for the cash flow pledge, out of one dollar fifty cents will be settled into this particular account, wherein CMV is going to have first priority rights. Second is hundred percent distribution pledge, which means that once the sale is going to happen for this particular uh, facility, whatever the amount for the EB5 loan is, that amount will be stored into a separate escrow account, and two KK partnership will be having the first priority rights into that particular distribution pledge account. Third is completion protection. Generally, with liquid partnerships, we have a completion guarantee either for uh, the partnership or for the senior lender. So, either of those, even if the completion guarantee is given to the senior lender, the benefit of it trickles down to the partnership as well. Yes, so that is it regarding Group 88. Uh, so, I would like to end by saying that when you look at any EB5 partnership, when you look at any regional center, when you are interested in investing in any EB5 project, the first and foremost thing to look at is that project itself and the track record of the regional center. Now, you will see different people talking about different timelines that they are able to get approvals in certain period, faster approvals, so on and so forth. But it's not just about the initial approval which is at stake. What you must be interested in is to get the final green card and that is where the due diligence for each and every project comes into picture. So that is something which you should always remember. If you have any questions, you can ask now or you can meet me at the booth and I am happy to reserve all the questions that you have. Thank you so much.